And so here we have our next project on the uh, uh, windmill series. We have here uh, an old direct drive uh, washing machine motor, which has been uh, taken away from the uh, uh, plastics a little bit. Here's the next level of the uh, vertical axis uh, wind turbine. And uh, both uh, my turbines are based on the uh, uh, washing machines, which do have uh, a drive, a drive motor under here. And uh, this black down here is just the support. I'm going to uh, de design here uh, blades to the side, uh, so that uh, this can go around uh, this way. And uh, the plates will be supported with this 10 millimeter uh, metal studs or bars or whatever they are called. So now we have added these aluminium uh, forms with the bolts to this bicycle uh, wheel. And then to the top part. Uh, I have also added another bicycle wheel uh, with the uh, bolts. And the next thing is, of course, uh, to uh, put this kind of a uh, bicycle wheel to the top, to the, to the lower part here. And here you can see now this uh, whole system turned upside down. And here's the uh, direct drive motor. And the axle is now in the center. And this can, this can uh, turn pretty easily around. So there should be a possibility uh, to get some energy uh, also when, when the wind uh, takes these uh, uh, side plates. Okay, now we have turned this again around and both of these bicycle uh, wheels have been mounted in, in their own places. And now we can have a test wheel uh, circle. And imagine I will put some kind of uh, side uh, tubes here so that the wind uh, can turn this uh, around. And of course, whenever you are doing something, you should always keep in your mind the measurements of the parts that you have already produced. Of course, it happened so that uh, these blades, uh, they were shorter than I was uh, uh, going to use here. So I had to uh, move these wheels a little bit lower. So now here's the principle. When the wind is blowing, it starts to blow from here and turns the wheel. Welcome to Timos Man Cave. As you can see, I have uh, this, uh, uh, this very manhood uh, hobby site uh, fills all these uh, requirements that were given by uh, Finnish broadcasting company YLA a couple of years ago and uh, they gave me a title of man cave. Today's invention here in my man cave uh, is a generator and this generator is uh, done so that it's not required to have a tail uh, because this is not mounted in horizontal ver uh, position. This is going to be mounted uh, in vertical. So this is actually a vertical axle uh, wind turbine. And the design was found uh, from internet and they had uh, some uh, ball bearings in the center. I'm using this uh, uh, direct drive uh, washing machine's motor bearings. So I don't have to uh, build uh, everything uh, from scratch. Also, I have here some bicycle wheels. And uh, I have to thank you, uh, Vesa Rautu in Järvenpää uh, Sevisi, uh, of these 
you were not uh, present when I stole these from your metal uh, metal uh, junkyard. The way how this is going to uh, rotate is uh, based on the fact that if we get the wind blowing from there, it will go into these half pipes. And these half pipes will then turn, and the second half pipe will come, and the second, and the second, and after that it will start rotating. And uh, I really hope uh, that uh, the speed of uh, this uh, kind of um, uh, generator is not going to be very, very high. The reason why I still have some metal parts up here is that I do not yet know how to protect this whole system uh, from rain. But probably, probably there will be some kind of a plastic barrel someday mounted on top here. But uh, unfortunately, it looks like it fits perfectly. Oh my goodness, I'm so good. Thanks for watching.